Okay, if I want to find the volume using the disk method of the shape that's in the region engulfed by these three graphs, I want to find it and revolve it around the y-axis. The first thing what helps is to sketch it. It's very important and usually very helpful to sketch it, or at least to think about what it's going to look like. So if we make a quick sketch of this, you should know the first equation, 2x squared is a parabola. So it's going to look something like that. Now the next two equations, y equals 0. Isn't that the y, isn't that the x-axis? So y equals 0, isn't that just this axis right here, the x-axis? And x equals 2, well x equals 2, isn't that this line right here? So can you visualize you have this area right here? Here's your engulfed region. Now, we're revolving this graph around the y-axis. So we're revolving it around this axis. If I revolve that around the y-axis, can you tell there's going to be an empty space inside? It kind of looks like a cup, kind of funky looking cup but it has like a weird inside. Um, it could be also like a mold for a bullet. I don't know what everyone thinks of it, but it kind of looks kind of hollow. Now, you have two methods. You have the disk method and the washer method. The washer method is when you have stuff that are hollow. The disk is when it's simply solid. When you take it from a side view, it's, it's so forth. Now, real quick, when you do the washer method, all you're doing is subtracting two pieces. Big R is the larger. This is the smaller circle. So the larger circle, the smaller circle. Hint the capital and lowercase. So if we're talking radius, this big one, this is the R. You can't really see that, but the, the big R. Okay, let's make this bigger. Whoa. And then we have this. That is R. That is little r. Got it? If we want the area around here, r is the big one, capital R, little r is the little one. And that is a cross section of the volume. So this one's going to be a washer. All right? And what you'll see is you are when you're doing it around this axis, you're going to make little circles that are going to be this way. They're always perpendicular to the axis you're spinning on. So if we have this line right here, you're going to make little washers, little washers from there. Now, the interval for this, well, don't you first have to find out this point where it hits right there? Because isn't the interval along the y-axis? How do you find out this point where it hits? Well, can I simply plug 2 into this equation? Isn't this x equals 2? So when it hits that graph, be when x equals 2? Wouldn't that be uh, 8? So aren't we going from 0 to 8? You guys okay with that? We're going from 0 to 8 on the y-axis. Now, we have a pi in front, and we can tell it's washers. So we're going to have two different pieces our interval again from 0 to 8. So our big, we have a big radius, big function, and a fu small function. And why is it dy? Because you're going along the y-axis and these sections going around the y-axis. Now we got to think, okay, what would be the length of the big radius? Well, look at this whole shape. Isn't the big radius always 2? Isn't this big line always going to be 2 for the whole entire interval? So isn't this simply just going to be 2 squared? Because it's always 2? Now, isn't the small one, the small piece, isn't this the small piece right here? Just that little piece right there? So isn't the small piece f of y? Now, that's f of y. Is that f of y? No, don't you have to change it to be x equals? So let's go up here real quick and change this to be x equals. 
When I do that, you divide the 2 over, and you're going to get x squared equals y over 2. And then you're going to square root both sides. So you get x equals plus or minus the square root of y over 2. Now, that's f of y. So that's going to go in here. Now, do we want plus or minus? Do we really need to worry about the negative values according to our graph? Aren't we just paying attention to the positive values? Because we're talking above from 0 to 8 are all positive. So our answer, we're going to have to do this late. We're not going to do the whole problem. But what's 2 squared? That's 4. Minus. What happens when you take this and square it? Isn't that just going to be y over 2? Again, this is x, and then we're squaring it, so it won't just be y over 2. Could you finish solving this? We're not going to so finish it right now, but could you finish that, find the answer of that integral, use a calculator or not, find it, and you're done. That's the volume.